Hey guys, subscriber from the Ukraine sent me this French MRE. Roman, thank you so much. Let's see what we've got inside. All right, first of all, we have muesli. That's a good breakfast for sure. We got some soup. Oh, we've had these before, three kinds of biscuits. A sweet, a salty, and a little bit of chocolate, as I recall. Man, this thing's packed. We've got some candies, our heater, some more candies, mixed drink, isotonic, apricot jam, paella. That's going to have some rice in it, probably chicken. And here's some, here are some sausages. Oh my. <laughs> it's a 24 hour MRE. We've got our packet we'll open up here in a minute. All right, we have two containers here. One has cheese, and the, which I think is this one, and the other one has boar pate. Either one, I'm gonna love those. We have more candies, our tissues, which this is kind of slickety. You can open those up, take one out at a time, toilet paper and or tissue, reseal it back up. That's nice. Yeah, and our accessory pack. Let's see what we have here. All right, we have a couple of coffees, tea, some more tea, hot chocolate, two salts and peppers. That's sugar. All right, this is gonna be fun. A lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff, 24 hour MRE. So this is an energy muesli with fruit instead of uh, chocolate. I've had the chocolate before. This actually has strawberries, raspberries, and cranberries. So you see the flax, the seed, all kinds of cool stuff in it. Let's get some hot water. Since we're gonna eat the whole 24 hours worth of food, or, or at least part of it, in the next little bit here, I am going to just make some of this. And of course there's powder in the bottom of this that has the sugars and energy stuff. So we're gonna try to get a good mix. And we'll let that set. You can see it mixing up nicely. That'll absorb that hot water here. We'll give that a chance to mix together. In the meantime, set that aside. Let's see if this is not our boar pate. A little boar pate for breakfast. I haven't eaten yet today. Oh yeah, that's what that's gonna be right there. I think it's interesting because there must be a difference it's called boar pate as opposed to just pig or hog or swine. So let's see. Uh, that that gal looks like she's happy eating it. <laughs> let's see here. Now, one other thing that's been interesting, there was no silverware with this. So I used some silverware we had from a, a former MRE. Get us some crackers out. It shows the crackers here. You've got salted on the left. You've got the... Uh, cereal biscuits in the middle and then the chocolate style on the right hand side so we'll stick with that keep them in order because this is going to have a lot of flavor i just want some salted biscuits as i recall these biscuits in a french emery are quite good set that there Let's say a quick prayer here heavenly father thank you for this food thank you for roman who sent it to me i ask you to bless it to my body now in christ's name amen, amen. Let's take a look here. It smells really good. It's very fragrant. Look at the uh, how it chunks. Kind of, again, it reminds me a little bit of Spam, chunkier Spam. And I can definitely smell an organy, a little more of an organ taste than with Spam. So, smells good. Let me just try it by itself. Okay, first thing, it's not real smooth and creamy like your normal pate has been. It has a hint of a of an organ taste to it, but not overwhelming. It's not real strong like Braunschweiger is. Um, it's a real mild pork taste, salted well. It's really quite good. I tell you what. <laughs> again, for breakfast, wow. That is uh, really, that, that's very tasty. Very good amount of salt, just everything's perfect. In fact, um, one more little bite. Mm, very good. 
looks like our mucilage has absorbed water well. We've got all the grains in there and the fruits. Let's give that a quick try here. It doesn't smell like anything particularly good. It doesn't smell sweet or fruity, which surprises me. Kind of a citrusy, fruity. Now, I would say with this part of the dish, you want to get your sugar out. I believe that's what this is going to be. Take a quick look. Yeah, it's not salt. So we'll put a little sugar in there. Now, that brings the fruit out. A lot better. You can taste it real fruity to it. I much prefer this uh, muesli to the chocolate chip ones. I, I way like this better. So that's highly recommended there for sure. All right, let's open our, our what I believe to be the cheese. Oh yeah. The French like their cheese. Oh boy. And I like the French cheese. <laughs> let's see, let's get that out on the tray as well. We'll probably put it next to here. Let it share the stage. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's see, get another one of our crackers here. Try the cheese first. Smells a little bit sharp. Oh, that is a creamy good cheese, guys. Mmm, that is good. Boy, I like French cheese. Wow. Oh, man, that is really tasty. I, this combo is, in fact, let's do a little bit of boar with cheese on a cracker. These crackers, because this meal is new, they bite off right where you want them to, you know, chip off instead of crumbling into a thousand pieces. I like that too. That's a nice feature of having a newer MRE. Mmm, nice stuff. Let's try another. We'll stay with our idea of fruity mucilage and have a little bit of a fruit energy bar, it says. It looks kind of like a, a taffy kind of a feel. It smells delicious. It smells like it smells like fruit yogurt. Oh yeah. You want a bite? I'm sure. Mm. No, I didn't offer you any. You want some cheese and crack? I'm telling you, that is really good mm. stuff for you know, that. Thank you. Okay. No, that's good too. Let's take a look at that. We'll put that out on the tray there. Let's have one more fruit. Oh, this is that like that Turkish oh, delight yeah. stuff. Mmm. Oh, damn. What, what flavor is it? Um, apricot. Definitely apricot. It says so right on the back of it. That is tasty. Man, that's good. Mm. Mm. I think I need a little coffee with this. Mm -hmm. The French like have lots of little bars and mm -hmm. sweet things. Oh, and stuff. That's a nice one. You go get some coffee. All right. We got two coffees with the deal, so that's kind of nice. Have one for now. Yeah. Oh, that's dark. Look at that. That's pretty darn dark. All right, a little bit of French coffee. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I like that. That goes really well with everything, whether it's the cheese and crackers, the boar pate or the candies. That, that is really delicious. All right, we're gonna get our stove ready. We got our heat tabs with the MRE. We have the stove, we'll fold together. Oh, check this, I've got more in here. What do we have? It's to keep, oh, water purifying tablets. Ah. A bag to throw our trash in. That's cool. Yeah. Oh my, I, there, we have toothpicks. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Uh, this is to grab our plates when they're hot. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 check this. So you got your little little uh, container. This goes like that. And then you don't have to burn your hands taking it off and on the flame. Oh, that's really cool. Isn't that nice? But wait, there's more. We have the matches. Boom, Daddy. 
Oh, plenty of matches. I like that. There we are. What's it have on the box? Well, this one has the uh, the triumphant arch or triumphal arch, and that one is the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's cool. Both very big landmarks in Paris. So we'll fold our stove together. All right. Stove top put together. Pretty nifty. It is nifty. Well, let's see what the paella looks like. It's going to have rice in it. I know that. Ooh, I see peas and peppers. Ooh, smells really good. Put that lid back down. Set it right on there. While that main dish is heating up, we're going to get a little soup going. Smells like bouillon of some sort. Oh, it's got noodles in it. It has peppers in it, it looks like. Probably some onion in there. That looks good. Reconstitute the noodles and the vegetables. That might, Those might be carrots instead of peppers. I'm not quite sure. All right, well, check out the noodles and the vegetables on the top there. That's pretty neat. Let's give that a try. Ooh, that's, that's got a good flavor. I think I added just the right amount of water. Still quite warm. I'm going to set that aside and let it cool just a bit. So let's get our apricot jam out on the tray here. That has got a great consistency. It's, it's not too thick where it's spreadable like jam. It, it's more like a jelly, but it's, oh, I just, I like how, how that'll be able to spread easily. Yeah. Let's get a piece of cracker here. You know, before I do that, though, I am going to try a little bit of it. It's just got a good consistency. Let's see here. Definitely smell the fruit. I wouldn't say that I would have smelled that and said, oh, that's apricot, but it smells fruity. That's definitely apricot. That's good. Man, that's a that's the best tasting apricot jam I think I've ever had. That is or jelly. That is really good stuff. Get plenty of it on our cracker. Now, this cracker, I broke off a little chunk of it. It's our cereal cracker, they call it. It smells like a graham cracker just by itself. And by putting that jam on there, man, that's a fun combo. That's a really good combo. Because the graham cracker is not real sweet and the jam jelly is real sweet. Um, well, that's a good, it goes together real well, kind of makes it just perfect. Let's see how our hot dish is coming. Looks like the fire died down. Alrighty. So check this out. We'll go on the top and then set it under and boom. Put it right up. Set her down on the tray. This is going to be the tricky part is peeling it back. Wow, I see chunks of what I think are chicken in there. Ooh, that's too hot. It actually burnt yeah. the bottom of the tray. Oh, did it really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, get that out there. Oh, no, that might be fish. Look at there's shrimp. Oh, there's sausage. Like Good grief. No, thing. I've got, yeah, it might be like a um, jambalaya kind of a thing, huh? That's cool. That's very cool. Look at the components here. We've got shrimp, definitely. Looks like an oyster there. Oh, this must be a seafood thing. That's an oyster. Got some sausages, some more shrimp. I, this must be fish. I thought it was gonna be chicken. We'll, we'll see. Oh my, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Get our spoon up. Mm. All right. Well, th this is, this is gonna be real neat. Let's try first just a little bit of the meat. That might be chicken, might be fish with the rice. Ooh. Smells seafoody. Mmm. I could use a little salt. Wow. Look, this is this is quite fancy. It is you know fancy what? for an MRE. You want no to have kidding. oysters and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the French would come up with something <laughs> like this. No kidding. Got a little pepper on it too. I like my pepper. So we've had the meat, which 
Let me just try the meat by itself. That's chicken. That meat is chicken, it's not fish. Now let's try what I believe to be a clam. In fact, we'll get two of them. They're small. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Got to cleanse the old pal in here a minute. Wow. That's, that's one of the fancier dishes I think in an MRE to have shrimp and oysters and chicken and everything. And sausage. Sausage. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's try a couple of this shrimp now. Smell shrimpy. There's not a really powerful punch of shrimp taste like there was with the uh, with the clams. That's interesting. I would have thought being a shrimp, it would be like really strong, but it was not overwhelming. It's good, just not <clears throat> doesn't taste like powerful shrimp or real shrimpy tasting. Try a little of this sausage. definitely get the flavor of the sausage through every you know it, it, it's it stands on its own good I would say the way to eat this dish would definitely be um, instead of mixing it all together enjoy the the component parts you know enjoy the seafood maybe a shrimp with a with a clam I might want to mix that or an oyster whatever that is but but not I, I wouldn't want to eat it all together I like it the turf part, you know, the chicken and the sausage together, the seafood together, and the rice pairs well with everything. Man, the peas are good. This dish is amazing. I, I've I've never seen anything like this in an MRE, guys. All the different kinds of meats in one dish. This this is really good. This is really tasty. Highly recommend this. Let's try some of our soup here. It's mixed up well. It's cooled down a bit. Let's see here. Oh, it has the, I believe those are carrots. They're real sweet. And the noodles are just a little, enough of a, <clears throat> they're not crunchy, they're enough of a heft to them to add a little volume to the soup. And the soup is, is a creamy soup. It's not a real liquidy soup. Man, that's, that's a good addition, especially if it were a little chilly out or you weren't feeling quite night, right? That, that soup is, is really good. It has a, a sweet taste right at the end of those carrots. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good dish. Let's open our bar here. It's, it says 65% chocolate, it'd be my guess, or cocoa. So it's probably gonna be dark chocolate, but I'll tell you, I've had some of these European style uh, MRE dark chocolate, and it's been the best dark chocolate I've ever eaten. And I don't typically care for dark chocolate. So that's pretty dark, I would say. Looks like a baker's bar of chocolate. Again, there's not that bitter aftertaste that you get so much with American dark chocolate, to me anyway. I could use some tea with that. Let's get some tea going. Got two kinds of tea here. One is the green tea with menthol, and the other is just a black tea. So I'm going to go with the black tea right now. I think that would be better with the chocolate. I think it's funny how many like fine things that French MREs have in them, from like tea to little bars of chocolate. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oysters, like they put in like all this time <laughs> into their... And what a variety. Uh, I mean, man, good variety. Like you say, fine stuff. All right, while that's steeping, we're going to start another uh, heat tab and get our sausage going here. Let's check out what that looks like. Oh, Ooh, that's interesting. It's that's not, unexpected. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm excited to give that a whirl. I noticed while that tea is steeping, we got another, looks like a mocha. So we're going to have a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee kind of taste here. And that's the fuel, uh, they call it, which means it's going to have like caffeine in it as well, and I believe. Which probably means it's not going to taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put those two together, have them with the tea. A little chocolate, black tea melts that chocolate down. Mm, that's good. That's that's fun. I don't know if I'm going to care for this. It's like it has rice in it. Quite crunchy. 
the flavor is actually quite good. Yeah, that, that flavor's way, that's a pleasant surprise. The uh, energy bar tastes? Mm -hmm. No, that's good. You won't care for that. <laughs> wow. wow. Yes. It's got enough crunch in it to make it where it's not just a toffee bar and it melts away and it, yeah, it leaves a real nice flavor. It's almost a kind of a caramel coffee. That, that's good. Cleanse the old palate here. So they give you four bars so far. So far, yeah. And yeah. wait, we've got this one that we'll save for dessert. Oh, five bars. But you remember what these are. Oh. This is like yeah. that divinity kind of stuff with the fruits in it. These are going to be good. So that's going to be good. Set that right there and enjoy that at the end of the meal. But while we're waiting for our last dish to heat up there, I want to take you through a little fun time in, the, in boot camp in the Marine Corps. Um, you get mail, and mail was a big thing. Um, and the drill instructors would hand out the envelopes with letters in them in the evening usually, and they just yell out your last name and you'd go up and grab it. But if there was an envelope that was thick, that might have had something gum or pictures or something like that, they would set that aside. Any boxes, any packages, set it aside. Because if it was cookies, they wanted some of those cookies. They had, always had to try them to make sure they weren't poison. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So the pictures, though, were the most interesting thing because the drill instructors would have you, they, could, they wouldn't open your mail, but they would call you into the office if they suspected there were pictures and say, open that, and you'd have to open it. And if there were pictures, they take the pictures and make sure there wasn't anything illegal or compromising, and they go through the pictures one by one. And usually it's a guy's wife or girlfriend who sends him pictures. Well, as a result of these girlfriend wife pictures coming into the platoon on a constant basis, the drill instructors developed a, a board, and the, on the board is like a, a like a, a bulletin board, and they had the house mouse make a really cool sign that said Hog of the Week. So they would get these pictures in and they'd go through them and when they found the one that was worthy, they would say, well, this, this picture, that she's hog of the week. And they would have you go up and pin that picture in the middle of the hog of the week board. Well, one day I got the call, I had to come up and my girlfriend, now wife, Jackie, she had a friend in college who had taken pictures of her for her uh, uh, college class. And so they were black and white. They, were, had, they had to be done in black and white. Very, really pretty, very flattering pictures. The drill instructors had me open these photos and they're like, oh my gosh, who's this? Is this your sister? No, sir, that's my girlfriend. Are you kidding me? And then they hold her up and up to my face go, that doesn't make any sense. That can't be possible. <laughs> Just give me a ration. Anyway, they picked one particular one. Again, these weren't sexy, you know, that kind of a picture like you think of today. Uh, it was just good. It was a really beautiful picture of my wife, my girlfriend. And they said, you know, she's, she's hog of the week this week. So they had me go out and I'd pin that thing up there. Well, every day more pictures or every couple days more pictures would come in and they'd keep going through them. Well, my girlfriend stayed up as hog of the week for three weeks in a row. And that was a record in boot camp. So... Uh, <laughs> Of course, I went on the merrier, uh, but uh, so that was kind of a, a fun time in the Marine Corps, I guess, uh, finding out who's going to be hog of the week. So <laughs> let's see if that dish is ready. This looks, I was going to expect, I thought they'd be interested. Oh, there's the hot dog. There are the hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, there are some hot dogs in there. We'll just get a few out on the tray with the... Uh, Looks like pasta, actually, doesn't it? That's weird. Like I've never bits seen of anything pasta. like that. <laughs> yeah, bits of pasta. Interesting. Huh. Oh, that hot dog got cooked, right? Give that a try, huh? Doesn't have any, nothing. Uh, I can smell the cream sauce for sure. Okay, right away. The hot dog, it's quite mealy. Think Vienna sausage kind of thing. I'm gonna try the, the noodles or the pasta, whatever that is by itself. Oh, that's good. That's a good creamy cheese sauce of some kind, wow. Um, this is another one of those dishes, in my opinion, 
you eat it separately. I mean, the hot dogs, the Vienna sausage kind of things are okay, but this pasta and sauce is really flavorful. It gets lost in the uh, mushy hot dog taste. So, you want to have your hot dogs on their own and have your pasta and cheese sauce mm, by itself so you can enjoy the flavor of both. That's good. You know, we didn't try a chocolate biscuit yet. These, these look pretty darn cool. Check this out. It's like they're a brindled cracker, a tiger stripe kind of a with chocolate cracker there. Give that a try. Definitely smell a little chocolate. Nothing like hot dogs and chocolate crackers. Yeah, you know, as I was taking that bite, I thought, should have cleansed the old palate. Definitely. Chocolate and hot dogs. Uh, okay. Now, let's do that again. Yep, that's a good, that's a little bit of a graham cracker with that dark chocolate. That pairs well together. Let's get our fast, intense hydration mix drink out. Looks like it's gonna be a lemon lime. Doesn't look lemon lime. <laughs> no, I thought I was surprised it's clear. Any little bits of the supper left on the spoon will get off in the drink easy enough. There you go. I say that because I think I might see a few floaties in there. <laughs> anyway. Citrusy. Mmm. That's, that's a pleasant surprise. It's very sweet. Crisp. No, like, um, heavy aftertaste or anything like that. That's a good drink. I could probably add just a little bit more water. It's, it is sweet, but there's a, um, there's a bit of salt in it too. I can taste that, a little bit of an aftertaste like, but that is, um, that is quite good. I can see how that would be very refreshing in the field, but that's quite, quite sweet with a little punch of salt at the end. Very nice. It's quite warm out here. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the hot chocolate today. We've had two uh, uh, chocolate and mocha, or chocolate and mocha kind of a dish already. They give you plenty of drinks, oh. I mean, teas and coffees. And Absolutely, and, and energy. You know, all this has to do pretty much, except for the chocolate, with energy. It's, it, and it says on the side of the drinks, and of course the tea and the coffee have caffeine. This drink had energy um, and restorative properties. This, this is uh, plenty, of, plenty of drinks, that's for sure. Um, let's go ahead and try our divinity with fruit in there. Smells really good. Mm. Kind of, it's like a, a little bit like toffee, but not as stringy. Um, you want a hot drink with it, I would say. Black tea is good. That hot tea will melt away a lot of that um, candy and bring down, bring it down into where it's just the fruit bits. And those fruit bits are good. It's kind of indistinguishable. I can't tell, oh, that's strawberry, that's apricot, whatever. But it's just a good fruit bar. That is a fun way to do it. Rowan from Kiev, thank you so much for sending this French MRE to me. Uh, this, is, this is really a fun meal. I've never had anything quite like this with this, such a big variety. I mean, seafood and everything else. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun to try. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's get after the next one.